www.attabligh.com The Reviver of Iman This is the first time in Australia Jazakallah to Brother Zakaria for inviting me Murana Shabbir Sahib for giving me the opportunity to sit here among you May Allah give me to see something which is beneficial for all of us Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'ghfiruhu wa nu'minu bihi wa natawakkalu alayhi wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil fala hadiya lah wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa allahu wahdahu la sharika lah wa nashhadu anna sayyidana wa maulana muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى اله واصحابه وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اذكروا الله ذكرا كثيرا وسبحوه بكره واصيلا هو الذي يصلي عليكم وملائكته ليخرجكم من الظلمات الى النور وكان بالمؤمنين رحيما تحيتهم يوم يلقونه سلام واعد لهم اجرا كريما وقال تعالى واذكروا الله كثيرا لعلكم تفلحون وقال تعالى واذكر ربك كثيرا وسبح بالعشي والابكار وقال تعالى والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات اعد الله لهم مغفرة واجرا عظيما وقال تعالى ان في خلق السماوات والارض واختلاف الليل والنهار لايات لاولي الالباب الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والارض ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار وقال تعالى فاذا قضيتم الصلاه فاذكروا الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبكم فاذا اطمئنتم فاقيموا الصلاه ان الصلاه كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا وقال تعالى ولا ذكر الله اكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وقال تعالى فاذكروني اذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تكفرون وقال تعالى الذين امنوا وتطمئن قلوبهم بذكر الله الا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اكثروا ذكر الله حتى يقولوا مجنون وفي روايه حتى يقول المنافقون انكم مراءون وقال عليه السلام المستهترون في ذكر الله يضع الذكر عنهم اثقالهم فياتون يوم القيامه خفافا وقال عليه السلام سبق المفردون قالوا ومن المفردون يا رسول الله قال الذاكرون الله كثيرا والذاكرات وقال عليه السلام مثل الذي يذكر ربه والذي لا يذكر ربه كمثل الحي والميت او كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم صدق الله مولانا العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ما قال ربنا وخالقنا ورازقنا من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما درو شریف پڑھیں سب اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى ال سيدنا ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى ال سيدنا ابراهيم 
ان کا حمید مجید ریسپیکٹڈ ایلڈرز بردرز فرینڈز علماء کرام لیڈیز فرسٹ آف آل وی تھینک اللہ سبحان ہو تعالیٰ فار آل ہیز نعمت باؤنٹیز بلیسنگز فار گیونگ اس توفیق ٹو پرفارم عشاء سلاد وتھ جماعت اینڈ دین ٹو سٹ ہیئر ٹو لسن ٹو سم تھنگ اباؤٹ آور بیوٹیفل دین اینڈ اسلام می اللہ گیو می دا توفیق ٹو سی سم تھنگ وچ از بینیفیشل فار مائی سیلف فرسٹ اینڈ دین فار آل آف اس ماشاء اللہ یو ہیو دس ذکر مجلس آن ریگولر بیسس فرائیڈے نائٹ شب جمعہ ویری گڈ الحمد للہ کیپ اٹ اپ می اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ گیو یو مور برکہ ان دا مجلس ریسپیکٹڈ ایلڈرز بردرز فرینڈز واٹ کین وی ٹاک واٹ کین وی سی اباؤٹ ذکر اللہ ذکر اللہ از دی مین پرپس آف دس کریشن اور یو کڈ سی اٹ از دا مین کور آف آور دین our ibadat why do we pray salat to remember allah wa aqim as salata li zikri we stay asleep all night neglecting forgetting allah get up pray for the namaz then we go out do our work zohar time comes come to the masjid remember allah again having lunch little bit of rest little bit of business come and pray asar salat Sun is setting, come and pray Maghrib Salat. Before you go to sleep, pray Isha, remember Allah. So five namaz, so we don't forget Allah. Wa aqimi salat al Roza, fasting, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La'allakum tattakoon. And what is taqwa? An yuta'a fala yunsa. An yuta'a fala yu'sa. Wa an yudhkara fala yunsa. Wa an yushkara fala yukfar. This is taqwa, like Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said. Taqwa is that Allah is obeyed, not disobeyed. Allah is remembered, not forgotten. And Allah is shown gratitude, not ungratefulness. This is taqwa. So among the etiquettes of taqwa is zikr. So la'allakum tattakoon. We have to give zakat. Zakat, so we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His instructions with regards to our wealth. We spend on the poor people. We get rid of the greed from our hearts. We cleanse and purify our nafs. Why do we go for hajj? Zikr. فَإِذَا قَضِيتُ فَإِذَا قُضْ فَإِذَا أَفَضْتُمْ مِنْ عَرَفَاتٍ فَاذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ عِنْدَ الْمَشْعَلِ الْحَرَامِ وَاذْكُرُوهُ كَمَا هَدَاكُمْ وَإِنْ كُنْتُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ لَمِنَ الضَّالِّينَ فَإِذَا قَضِيتُمْ مَنَاسِلَكُمْ فَاذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ كَذِكْرِكُمْ آبَاءَكُمْ أَوْ أَشَدَّ ذِكْرًا فَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَمَا لَهُ فِي الْأَخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقِ There are people who don't remember Allah, who don't remember Akhirat. They say, رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا We want everything in this world. They don't believe in the year after. But there are others who say, رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَا وَفِي الْأَخِرَةِ حَسَنَا وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ أُولَائِكَ لَهُمْ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّا كَسَبُوا وَاللَّهُ سَلِيُّ الْحِسَابِ So the aim of Hajj is also to do zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why Hazrat Mawlana Rashid Ahmad Ganguhi rahmatullah writes that the whole aim of shariat and ibadat and you know awamir and nawahi why do we have to do certain things and why do we have to avoid certain things like sharab alcohol Allah Pak said with regards to alcohol and gambling innama yuridu shaytan an yuqi'a baynakum al-adawata wal-baghda'a fi al-khamri wal-maysir وَيَصُدَّكُمْ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَعَنِ الصَّلَاةِ فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُنْتَهُونَ By intoxicants and by gambling, shaitan's aim is to stop you from zikrullah and from salah. Will you desist? So the aim of awamir, why we have to do, and nawahi, why we have to stay away from them, is remembrance of Allah. So that we don't forget Allah. Why? Because Allah is our creator, He is our sustainer, He is our master, He is our everything. And if we forget Him, if we neglect Him, if we disobey Him, if, if we go against His commands, then we are doing something really bad, we are harming ourselves, we are forgetting our creator. So, Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is utmost important. And this is why in Quran and hadith, 
<coughs> we find so many encouragements, instructions and hidayat regarding zikrullah and regarding kasrat of zikrullah that abundance of zikrullah wazkurullah kaseeran la'allakum tuflihun kaseer, kaseer, kaseer kaseer means as much as possible abundance, a lot and lots and lots of zikrullah Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma has said something really beautiful he says with all ibadat Allah has put, set limits salat, there is limit Saum limit, zakat, sadqa limit hajj, limit there is only one ibadat which has no limit and that is zikr Allah Pak said fazkurullah qiyamun wa qurudun wa ala junubikum 24-7 standing, sitting lying down remember Allah a human being only has one of these three postures either he's standing or sitting or lying down so it means under all conditions in whatever state you are remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is zikr kaseer 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 Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said sabaq al mufarridun mufarridun have gone way ahead who are mufarridun ya Rasulullah? Az-zakirun Allah kaseeran wa az-zakirat. Those men who remember Allah a lot and those women who remember Allah a lot, they are al-mufarridun. And they have gone way, way ahead of the others. Way ahead of the others. You remember zikr, you do zikr of Allah, you rush ahead of everyone. You know the hadith of Zahaba Ahlul Dusuri bil Ujur. يصلون كما نصلي ويصومون كما نصوم ويتصدقون بفضول أموالهم ولا نتصدقوا يا رسول الله the wealthy people have taken away all the reward they pray like we pray they fast like we fast but they are charitable with their wealth but we are poor we can't give in charity so Rasul Pak صلى الله عليه وسلم said in that hadith shall I not tell you something by which you can catch those who have gone ahead and who you can leave behind those who are with you they said of course ya rasulullah and he said be punctual of tasbihat fatima he said tusabbihun allah dubur kulli salatin thalathan wa thalathin wa tahmadun allah thalathan wa thalathin wa tukabbirunahu arba'an wa thalathin aw kama qala alayhi salam read tasbihat fatima after every salah 33 times subhanallah 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 33 times alhamdulillah 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 34 times allahu akbar allahu akbar allahu akbar after fajr zuhr asar maghrib isha every namaz with punctuality because of the zikr you will catch up with them and you will leave those who are behind those who are with you so they start doing this zikr after a few days they come back and see Rasulullah, the wealthy like Usman Ghani and Abdul Rahman Ibn Yaw, they found out and they heard this as well. They are also doing it. So what can we do now? And Prophet Sallallahu said, Dalik Fadrullah yudhi man yasha. That is Allah's fadl, He gives whom He wills. Wealth is Allah's fadl, and the ability and the tawfir to spend in the path of Allah is also Allah's fadl and Allah's grace. I can't do anything. So we learn from there that with dhikr we can go ahead of many people. And this is why Az-Zakirun Allah Kaseerun wa Az-Zakirat have gone way ahead of people. So we have to busy ourselves in dhikrullah. Not only once or twice a week or a day or a little bit, 10-15 minutes. No, more dhikr the better. The more dhikr you do, the more closer you will be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you are doing dhikr of Allah, Allah is close to you as well. أنا عند ظن عبدي بي وأنا معه إذا ذكرني فإن ذكرني في نفسه ذكرته في نفسي وإن ذكرني في ملأ ذكرته في ملأ خير منهم I deal with my servant in the manner he thinks about me I treat him in the way he thinks about me his perception of me if we know if we think that Allah is very kind he's generous he's going to look after me he's going to protect me Allah will protect you and if we keep complaining, oh, I've been going through this and that and nothing's happening for me. And, you know, Allah is not there to help me. Allah didn't do this for me. Nauzubillah. Complaining about Allah. We say, okay, I'm going to help you. So you have to think good about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Husnul zanni billah. And then 
پرومس صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے وہ انا معه اذا ذکرنی اللہ پاک سے اس ان حدیث قدسی ائی ایم ود مائی سلیو وین ہی از ریمبرنگ می ان انذر حدیث اف مستدرک حاکم پرومس صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یوز دی وردز انا مع عبدی اذا ذکرنی وتحرکت بی شفتاہ وین ہیز لپس ار موونگ ود مائی نیم ائی ایم کلوز ٹو ہم ائی ایم سیٹنگ ود ہم ائی ایم ود ہم ائی ایم ود ہم When his lips are moving with my name, Allah, 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 Allah is close to him. إِذَا وَتَحَرَّكَتْ بِي شَفَتَ Then the hadith goes on to say, فَإِن ذَكَرَنِ فِي نَفْسِهِ ذَكَرْتُهُ فِي نَفْسِهِ If he remembers me in his heart, I remember him in my heart. This is a metaphor. Just to say, if he remembers me alone in solitude, I remember him alone as well. And when ذكرني في ملأ ذكرته في ملأ خير منهم. If he remembers me in a gathering, then I remember him in a gathering better than that gathering. The gathering of those malaika who are holding on to the arsh of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. الملائكة الكربيون ملائكة الكربيين حاملين عرش. Allah mentions us in that gathering. Allah هو أكبر. ذكر ميرا مجد سے بہتر ہے کہ ان کی محفل میں ہے. My mention in his name is better than myself sitting there. So we are not there, but our name is mentioned over there among those malaika who are ma'asum and who are busy in worshipping and glorifying and praising Allah and who are carrying the arsh of Allah, Allah mentions us among them. So, zikrullah is uh, very important, very beneficial. The more zikr we do, the better for us. And uh, the more closer we will get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will get that realization at the back of our minds that Allah is watching me. Allah is with me. Allah is watching me wherever I am. Whatever I am doing and whatever I am saying, Allah is hearing me. So when we have that realization, then inshallah we will behave properly as well. We won't disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We won't do anything wrong. We'll do everything right. We won't lie, we won't cheat, we won't backbite, and we won't make, commit any major sins or minor sins because we have Allah in our hearts, in our minds. He's always with us, we are with Him. How are we going to sin? And this kasrat of zikrullah is the condition of Ahlullah. Ulamai Rabbaniyeen, Sulaha, our Mashaykh, they always used to be in the presence of Allah. You know, lowering their heads in shame in front of Allah. Junaid Baghdadi, rahmatullahi alayhi, was asked, what is haya? And he said that it is a condition that when a person looks at the favors and the bounties and blessings of Allah showering upon him, and then he looks at his own taqsirat, his own shortfalls and shortcomings, then in between a halat and a condition comes upon the heart that is called haya. We look at Allah's blessings and we look at our own shortcomings and we lower our head in shame. This is haya. So we always lower our heads in front of Allah, remembering Him all the time, in His presence all the time. Busy, busy, busy in zikr. Hazrat Junaid Baghdadi rahmatullahi alayhi once sees shaitan. In his dream, he is naked, roaming around the market. Shaitan, so Junaid Baghdadi Rahmatullah says to him, Oh Iblis, you have no shame. You are walking around among people in this nude manner. And he says, <laughs> Junaid, are these human beings, people? These are not human beings. If you want to see human beings, go to Masjid Shonis. They are, they are the ones who have broken my back. Who, who, who are really hard and tough upon me. And I can't, uh, you know, I mean, meant to say I can't deceive them, I can't trick them, I can't work on them. So Junaid Baghdadi gets up from his dream and he goes to Masjid al Shawnees and he sees it's night time, middle of the night, and in one corner there is Shaykh Abu Hassan al Khirqani, rahmatullahi alayhi, another one there is Shaykh Abu Hassan al Nuri, rahmatullahi alayhi, another corner there is another from Ramah Shaykh, maybe Shaykh Abu Hassan al Shazri or someone, rahmatullahi alayhi. They are sitting there, they are busy in their munaqba, and busy in their azkar and munaqba. And when Shaykh Junaid Baghdadi enters, one of them raises his head and looks back and says, Junaid, us khabis ki baat par bharosa nahi ya karte. 
Don't trust that Khabis. <laughs> now how did he know that Junaid was coming after seeing that dream? This is Kashf. Junaid didn't say anything. But this, the inner heart, the meeting of the souls and the hearts, they meet. And this is why they, they know what was going on. So, uh, Iblis is saying that it is they who are busy in muraqaba, in their tahajjud, in their tilawah, tasmihat, in their azkar, in their duas of the night, and remembrance of Allah, and they have broken my back. So, the more our mushayikh, they used to keep themselves busy in zikrullah all the time. And we see, regard, if we study the commentary of the hadith, mal ihsan, أَنْ تَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ فَإِنْ لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاكُ In Hadith Jibreel, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is asked, What is Ihsan? And he replies, That you worship Allah as though you are seeing Him. Because if you don't see Him, He sees you. So, whenever you say, Allahu Akbar, raise your hands and fold them. You have to throw the whole world behind your back and realize that I am standing in front of Allah, Almighty Allah, the Lord of the Universe, Rabbul Alameen, Ahkamul Hakimin, Shahin Shahi Mutlaq. I am standing in front of Him, not in front of anyone else, in front of Allah, Rabbul Alameen, Alhamdulillahi, Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, Malik Yawmiddin. This is who I am talking to. And you stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And your heart and mind is attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you bow down, Allahu Akbar, Subhan Rabbi Al-Azim, Subhan Rabbi Al-Azim, you realize that I'm bowing down in front of Allah. When you prostrate, you realize that I'm putting my forehead on the ground in front of Allah. I would never put this forehead on the ground in front of anyone, let alone an idol. Not in front of any human being or any creation, not even in front of the Prophet ﷺ. Even though he has so much rights over us, but he's told us, don't prostrate and do sajda to me. This sajda forehead is only for the Creator Himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We get this realization in our minds when we start our salah. This is an ta'bud Allah ka'annaka tarah. Fa innam takun tarahu, fa innahu yaraka. In that commentary of that hadith, Ibn Rajab al-Hambali rahmatullahi narrates in Jami' al-Ulumi wal-Hikam quotes from the Quran and Hadith regarding this ma'iyyat ma'iyyat of Allah you know a person being with Allah in the presence of Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran wa huwa ma'akum aynama kuntum Allah is with you wheresoever you may be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said يَسْتَخْفُونَ مِنَ النَّاسِ وَلَا يَسْتَخْفُونَ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَهُوَ مَعَهُمْ إِذْ يُبَيِّتُونَ مَا لَا يَرْضَى مِنَ الْقَوْلِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَمَا تَكُونُ فِي شَأْنٍ وَمَا تَتْلُو مِنْهُ مِنْ قُرْآنٍ وَلَا تَعْمَلُونَ مِنْ عَمَلٍ إِلَّا كُنَّا عَلَيْكُمْ شُهُودًا إِذْ تُفِيضُونَ فِيهِ Whenever you sit down to recite the Quran or you do any action or deed, we are witnessing you, observing you in that state. Whether you read the Quran, you do zikr, or you pray salat, or you do any action, you go to work, you go to job, you go to business, you are working, you are at home with the family, with the kids, resting, relaxing, private, public, holiday, home, wherever, masjid, work, wherever you are, إِلَّا كُنَّا عَلَيْكُمْ شُهُودًا We are looking at you. 24-7, Allah's watchful eyes are over us. It's like that CCTV camera. It's watching you all the time while you are working and it's recording everything. So Allah is watching us all the time and our deeds are being recorded by the angels on our right and left. كِرَامَ katibin. Allah says, شُهُودًا عَلَيْكُمْ Allah said, أَلَمْ يَعْلَمْ بِأَنَّ اللَّهَ يَرَى does man not know that Allah is watching? So, Hazrat Haji Imdadullah Muhajir Makki Rahmatullahi Alayhi used to give this muraqaba to his muridin sometimes. That lower your head, 
and repeat this ayat in your heart and mind without moving your lips. Alam ya'lam bi anna Allah yara. Alam ya'lam bi anna Allah yara. Alam ya'lam bi anna Allah yara. Allah is watching me. Bishri Hafi rahmatullahi alayhi. Allahu haziri, Allahu naziri, Allahu ma'i. Allahu haziri, Allahu naziri, Allahu ma'i. Seven times. He said to the little young nephew that before you go to sleep, put your head on the pillow and say this seven times. He did this for a few days or weeks and then he said now increase it to 14 times. And then after a few weeks he said now increase it to 21 times. Now the young boy says when I'm going to school or home or wherever I am, I, I got this you know, feeling that Allah is with me wherever I am, in playground, in school, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, Allah is with me, Allah is watching me and Allah is close to me, Allah is present. So you get that realization of the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Ibn Rajab brings these quotes of Qur'an ayat also where Allah said, وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ We are more closer to a person than his jugular vein. This jugular vein through which the blood goes and if it's ruptured, the person dies. It is, it is the vein upon which our hayat and life depends. So Allah is more closer to us than this jugular vein. وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ in Surah Waqiyah Allah said, وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْكُمْ وَلَاكِنْ لَا تُمْسِرُونَ When Malakul Maut is extracting the soul, Allah Park said, you are sitting around and you can't do anything, you are helpless. We are more closer to the dying person than you. However, you do not see us. وَلَاكِنْ لَا تُمْسِرُونَ So Allah is very close to us. And we have to remember Allah in order to get that realization of His closeness and His presence. And Ibn Rajab narrates over there that there are hadiths in which Prophet ﷺ was asked, Ayyul Imani Afzal. What is the best level of Iman? And he replied, An ta'lama anna Allah ma'aka haythu ma kunta. The highest level of Iman is that you know, you realize that Allah is with you wherever you may be. You get that level, you get to that level, then that means you've got the best portion of Iman. In another hadith he narrated from Tabarani, Salasatun fi dhillillahi yawma la dhilla illa zillu. Three people will be in the shade of Allah when there will be no shade besides the shade provided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of them was وَرَجُلٌ حَيْثُ مَا تَوَجَّهَ عَلِيمَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَهُ A man, wherever he goes, he realizes that Allah is with him. He will also be in the shade of Allah on the day of Qiyamah. So, this is ma'iyyat, istihzar. And Ibn Rajab Hanbali mentions over there the condition of Mashaykh, like Malik ibn Mighwal rahmatullahi alayhi, who used to say, Mam misluka ibn Adam, khulli yabaynaka wabayn al ma'i wal mihrab, kulla ma shi'ta dakhalta ala Allahi azza wa jal. Who can be like you, O son of Adam? Allah has given you freedom between yourself, the water, and the musalla. Whenever you want, you can make wudu. Come and stand in front of Allah and start talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He used to sit alone. Someone asked him, Awamata stawhish. Do you not feel loneliness? Do you not feel any gabrat? And loneliness when you are alone, nobody is around you. And he said, Kaifa astawhishu? Wa huwa yaqul, ana jaleesu man dhakarani. How? Can I feel lonely when Allah is sit saying, I am sitting with that person who is remembering me. So Allah is sitting with me. So how can I feel lonely? I'm not alone. Allah is with me. In another place, Can a person feel lonely when Allah is with him? So these are mashayikh who had that realization. And because they were busy, zik azkar, awrad, muraqaba, wazaif, all the time. And they, they reached that halad condition of perfection. And uh, this is why they used to feel the pleasure of this zikr in their hearts, which we, too, which we crave for today. 
Ibrahim ibn Adham rahmatullahi alayhi used to say, Inna lafi lazzatin law alimaha al-muluk, lajadaluna alayhi bis suyuf. We get so much pleasure in our hearts, that if the kings and the rulers were to find out, they would attack us with swords to snatch it away from us. We get that much pleasure in our hearts. Lazzat, lazzat. Ulfat mein barabar hai, wafa ho ke jafa ho. Har cheez mein lazzat hai, agar dil mein maza ho. In everything there is pleasure if we have that feeling in our hearts. Today our hearts are empty. We are too much engrossed with the world. Our worldly life has enticed us. We are after dunya, 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 dunya. We forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know this is why we rush for salah. And we don't have any concentration in our salah. We, are, we don't even focus in salah. We don't even remember Allah in our salah. Let alone outside salah. We don't remember Allah inside salah either which is for zikrullah. And we are neglecting Allah in our salah as well. So, they, they used to be in the presence of Allah. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In salah, outside salah, all the time. So, they, they, they are saying we feel that pleasure in our hearts all the time. It's constantly with us. It doesn't desert us. We only get it from time to time maybe. This halawat of iman, this lazat of iman, this sweetness of iman. We might get it now and then. But these mashayikh were such that constantly they were always feeling that pleasure of being in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّا لَفِي لَزَّةٍ لَوْ عَلِمُهَا الْمُلُوكِ Hazrat Junaid Baghdadi Rahmatullah used to say, أَهْلُ اللَّيْلِ فِي لَيْلِهِمْ أَلَذُّ مِنْ أَهْلِ اللَّهُ فِي لَهْوِهِمْ those who spend their nights standing in front of Allah in tahajjud, tilawah, zikr, tasbihat, they get so much pleasure, so much pleasure that what people feel in their lahu and lab and in their amusements, that is nothing, nothing, nothing in comparison to this pleasure which uh, an arif billah, a, a wasil ilallah gets in his tahajjud and his qiyamul layl and his zikr figure and his awrad and his wazaif. So, these are our mashayikh. Hazrat Zulnun Misri, rahmatullah alayhi, used to say, أَعْلَى الْحَالَاتْ أَن تَنْقَطِعَ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكْ حَتَّى لَا تَخَافَ إِلَّا ذَنْبَكْ وَلَا تَرْجُوَ إِلَّا رَبَّكْ The greatest and the loftiest of halat is that you detach yourself from the whole world and attach yourself with your Rabb. To the extent that you fear nothing but your sins and you have no hope from anyone but from your Rabb. When you get to that stage, then the love of Allah and the zikr of Allah will be, will be more beloved to you than a tasty, chilled drink on a hot summer day to a thirsty person. And then you will feel that pleasure with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why, you know, Sahabi Kiram, Rizwanullah, Alayhi Majma'een, they used to go through a lot of hard hardships but still Bilal Habshi is saying ahad 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 because he is feeling that pleasure the inner pleasure the pleasure of iman the ruhani pleasure the spiritual pleasure is so so huge and great that this physical torture is insignificant in front of that spiritual pleasure which he is experiencing so his mind is focused on the spiritual lazat. He doesn't feel that uh, physical torture and, uh, which he is going through. Allah makes it easy for him to, t- to take that. So uh, they, they used to get to that halat. And Sahaba is one Allah Majma'in. Allahu Akbar. They were in the presence of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's wujud, his, his existence was such, it was so filled with noor that wherever he goes, he fills others with the noor of iman. And whatever his condition was, he transferred it to the Sahaba, Rizwanullah Ali Majma'een. And the Sahaba, Rizwanullah Majma'een, also, as the enemy describes them, Bilayli Ruhban wa bin Nahari Fursan. By night they are monks and by day they are warriors. So we, are, we don't see this. That they are, by night we see, they are standing in front of Allah, they are crying, they are praying, and they are sobbing, and they are praying. And we feel that these people are monks. But in the morning after Fajr, they, they put on their armors, and they are on the horse, horses in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Sahaba is the one, 
they, 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 they were like this because of their suhbat of Nabi Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they are sitting in the presence of Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam whenever a person with the qalb salim comes to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's tawajju and attention immediately focuses on him he embraces Islam and he reaches the highest stages of wilayat where the awliya kiram cannot reach because of the barakat of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the maqam of sahaba start from where the maqam of awliya finish. So sahaba's beginning is where the awliyaullah's ending is. Because of the barakat of the suhbah and the attention and the tawajjuh and the focus of Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So these are the benefits and barakat and these are the practices of our mushaykh and our elders. And we need to get to that stage inshallah hopefully. If, if Allah wills, you know, everything is possible, nothing is impossible. No, we have to work hard. Just this young man, mashallah, was reciting Surah to Shams. And in Surah to Shams, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes seven qasams. وَالشَّمْسِ وَضُحَاهَا وَالْقَمْرِ إِذَا تَلَاهَا وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا جَلَّاهَا وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا طَحَاهَا وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا after seven customs, Allah says, well, not one custom, not two customs, not three, seven customs. After seven oaths, Allah says, Qad aflaha man zakkaha, wa qad khaba man tassaha. The person who cleanses and purifies his soul has succeeded. And the one who mixes it with dust has failed. So we need to cleanse and purify our souls. When it is cleansed, it is purified, it, it, uh, it gets that nur and jila and light and shine upon it, it becomes like a mirror, then it can see many things which other people can't see. So we need to bring that, uh, you know, cleansing and purification in our hearts, then we will be successful. But if we, uh, on the other hand, if we mix it with dust, we let our ego go behind this all desires, halal, haram, jais, najais. We don't care about anything, about makru, makru, tahrimi, tanzihi. We don't care about anything. Then all this dirt and filth and sin gathers on the heart and blackens it. And then there is no good in it. And the person fails. May Allah protect us from failure. May Allah grant us success. And to get this success and to get this jila and the, get this, you know, nuraniyat on our hearts, we have to work on it. We have to work hard on it. And one of the best ways to work on it is to get bayat to some mashaykh, stay in their suhbah and company, benefit from them, learn from them. And under their instruction, uh, even if they are harsh with you, they treat you, you know that you have to do this, you can't do that, you have to listen to your shaykh, you have to obey your shaykh. And inshallah, in this manner, all the ailments and the sicknesses of the heart will be removed. The kibr, the pride, the showing off, the hasad, the greed, the jealousy, the malice, the rancor, all, all these bad habits will be cleansed and pure, clean, washed away. And the good habits of tawadur, humbleness, humility, isar, hamdardi, and uh, thinking about others, caring, sharing, love for akhirat, love for Allah, love for Rasulullah, love for the Quran, and all these good love for zikr. Allah, all these good traits will come in our hearts and our heart is cleansed and purified inshallah we need to bring this within us and after giving bayat getting bayat what up mashayikh give you zikr and zikr is of various types loud zikr silent zikr naqshbandiya do silent zikr chishtiya do uh, uh, loud zikr qadiriya do ijtima'i zikr any one voice with the shaykh and the muridin, they do, you know, together the zikr is done. So these are all various different ways, but the, the, the goal is the same. The, the roads might be different, but they are all leading to the same destination, and the goal is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whether you do silent zikr, muraqaba, or whether you do loud zikr, whether you do ijtimai zikr, or whether you do zikr with asmaya husna, or you do zikr with ismezat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or whether you do muraqaba, muraqaba of ma'iyyat, muraqaba of dua, 
muraqaba of maut, muraqaba of ni'mat, various types of muraqabas, whichever muraqaba you do, whatever you do, they are all leading to the same uh, goal and destination, and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If, if we get this, alhamdulillah, we are successful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us ability to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to do lots and lots and lots and lots of zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purify and cleanse our egos, our nufus, our souls. May Allah give us nafsi mutma'inna. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us this qurb and closeness and proximity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we remember Him all the time. We never forget Him, let alone neglecting Him. We don't even forget Him. We remember Him all the time. We abide by all His instructions. We avoid everything that He has told us to avoid. And we do what, what, whatever He has told us to do. And inshallah, slowly. Slowly but surely, we'll get there, inshallah. May Allah accept, may Allah be pleased with us. Cheek hai ji? Zikr kar lehen thodi dheer? Morana sahab, kaisa zikr kar lehen? Jaisa aap kahenge, joh mushayikh hai, unhi se koi zikr karayin, mein aise shamil ho jaun ga unki saath. Jis tarah aapka maamul hai, us tarah karo? Zikr jahari karayenge? Aja ji, dekho bhai, if I, I, I am bayat to my shaykh, Hazrat Maulana Yusuf Mutala sahab, Jamal Barakatum, Maddafizu, Maalallahu Marati Bahum. And um, Hazrat gave me ijazat to do this zikr. And we used to do this zikr in Zakaria Masjid Bolton. And uh, people used to join with me. So I asked Hazrat, Hazrat, I feel really weird. I don't only do my zikr on my own, but some people are doing it with me as well. So Hazrat said, no problem, let them do it with you. Hazrat said that we have ijazat in all four silsilas. Naqshbandi, and uh, Qadri, and Chishti, and Suhrawardi. And Qadiriya do ishtima'i zikr. Since we have ijazat in the Qadri silsila as well, from Hazrat Mawlana Abdullah Darkhasti rahmatullahi alayhi, who was the Hafizul Hadith in Pakistan, he gave khilafat and ijazat to our Hazrat. So he said, we have ijazat in the Qadri silsila. So if they join you, let them join you. So uh, we used to do this zikr, bil jahr, uh, you know, and alhamdulillah, people benefit. So this zikr bil jahr, Hazrat gave me this ijazat of 12 tasbih. And he was given this sticker by Hazrat Shaykhul Hadith, Mawlana Muhammad Zakariya Sahab, Rahmatullahi Alayhi Nawarullahu Murqadahu. And he by his Shaykh Mawlana Khalil Ahmad Saharan Puri. And he by his Shaykh Mawlana Rashid Ahmad Gangohi Rahmatullahi Alayhi. And he by his Shaykh Hazrat Haji Imdadullah Muhajir Makki Rahmatullahi Alayhi, who was the Mujaddidul Millad Mujtahidul Tariqat of that time. And uh, from his Shaykh, Shaykh Abdul Rahim Vilayati and Mianur Muhammad Chanjanvi Rahmatullahi Alayhi. And the uh, Mashaykh, when they saw that many times people try to stay in the Suhbat of uh, Mashaykh and work on their hearts, but it takes a lot of time and effort. So it's better if we start doing Zikr right from the beginning, and inshallah slowly uh, the Zikr overpowers all the sicknesses of the heart. And inshallah the person will continue, uh, you know, with his, uh, in his progress and his uh, turning towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will benefit from that. So these are sufiya kiram mashayikh tariqat and they have various ways. Uh, the Naqshbandi mashayikh, they do silent zikr, you know, silent zikr, quiet, silent and uh, muraqaba. So that is also, it brings a person peace, tranquility, sukoon in the heart. And uh, uh, in the beginning, I was bayat to Hazrat Peer Ghulam Habib Sahib Rahmatullahi Ali. He came to our Darul Loom maybe in 1978-79. And I was in my first year of study at the time. And people were getting bayat, they also got bayat to him. I was a small minor at the time. And uh, after Fajr, Hazrat Peer Sahib, light ban kar do, lights off. So dark, total dark. And we are sitting there, Muraqaba, and the daughter is Muraqaba, and we are looking down, and suddenly we say, Allah! <laughs> and we were all just shocked. And we were all shocked. And the current was like that. And the current was like that. And was like that. Once he came to our Zakaria Masjid, and Pisa was reading from Surah the Sa'ad. وَذْكُرْ عَبْدَنَا أَيُّوبِ إِذْ نَادَى رَبَّهُ أَنِّي مَسَّنِي الشَّيْطَانُ بِنُصْبٍ وَعَذَابٍ this was his manner of reading. And he used to be Quran, 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 Quran for a few minutes, 10, 20 minutes, he's Quran, Quran, Quran all the time. So in the Surah Sa'ad, he got some mushabihat and he uh, got stuck. So the Imam Sahib at that time gave him luqma, but he gave him a wrong luqma. <laughs> I was sitting at the back and I gave him the right luqma. So Peer Sahib said, Haan, usne sahih luqma diya. Idhar 
So he called me, come to him. And there's this pinpoint finger at my heart. And the whole body got current in my body. So when the Peer Ghulam Habib Sahib Ramatullah was Peer Sahib. So in Naqshbandi Silsila, at the beginning I was made with Hazrat. But then no, I wasn't in touch with Hazrat. And the Khutto Kitabat bin Ayin, Peer Hazrat Sheikh Zakariya Ramatullah came to our Darulum. So, uh, you know, I got bayat to Hazrat Sheikh Zakariya Ramatullah at the time with the mashwara of my friend Sufi Tahir Sahib. I saw some dream and I said, Sufi Sahib, what is this? And Sufi Sahib said, this Tabir is that you can bear to share, you'll benefit from him. So because I was minor at the time, when I got bear to Peer Sahib, so I was, you know, I got bear to as a sheikh and then I benefited from my uh, um, Ustad and my sheikh, Hazrat Mawlana Yusuf Mutala Sahib, Dhamad Barakatuhum, also from other mashayikh as well, Sheikh Yunus Sahib. I studied Bukhari Sharif under him and I also benefited from him a lot as well. And Hazrat Peer Sahib, Mawlana Talha Sahib, who is uh, the son of Hazrat Sheikh Zakariya, Alhamdulillah, we stayed in his sohbah for some time as well, in Ramadan as well. So we benefited from all mashayikh, alhamdulillah. And uh, whatever Allah gives us benefit from them, inshallah, we take benefit from them. Anyway, um, we do this dhikr of 12 tasbih 200 times, La ilaha illallah. You know, taking out everything from filth from our hearts, La ilaha, and then illallah, bringing Allah into our hearts. Uh, 200 times and in between Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after about 14-15 we say Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when these two tasbih be finished we say uh, 400 times illallah 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 focusing on the heart and then Allahu Allah Allahu Allah 600 times. After Allah finish, we say La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah Durush Sharif Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Then we start Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allah And then finally one tasbih of last Allah 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 So this is the 12th tasbih zikr of Silsila Chishtiya Inshallah if you allow Karne Mulana Sahib zikr Are you okay with that? Otherwise Muraqaba Karne Sahib Muraqaba Karne Sahib Huh? क्या मशवरा है व्हाट्स योर मशवरा करेंगे जिक्र के नहीं जो जो जिसमें आपकी सहूलत शेख साहब कर ले जिक्र मौलाना साहब कर ले जिक्र हैं चलो फिर वो 15 20 मिनट लगेंगे ज्यादा नहीं लगेगा ओनली 15 20 मिनट्स لا إله إلا الله سيدنا ونبينا وشفيعنا وحبيبنا وسندنا ومولانا محمد رسول الله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 
محمد الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 لا إله محمد الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 لا 
محمد الرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 سيدنا ونبينا وشفينا وحبيبنا سندنا ومولانا محمد رسول الله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا إلا الله 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 إن 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 الله إن
ഇന്നോ 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 ഹോല്ല 
Subhanakallahumma <laughs> اللهم لك الحمد حمدا دائما مع دوامك ولك الحمد حمدا خالدا مع خلودك ولك الحمد حمدا لا منتهى له دون مشيتك ولك الحمد حمدا لا يريد قائله إلا رضاك ولك الحمد عند طرفة كل عين وتنفس كل نفس اللهم لك الحمد كما أنت أهله ولك الشكر كما أنت أهله ولك الثناء كما أنت أهله فصل على سيدنا محمد كما أنت أهله وفعل فعل بنا ما أنت أهله فإنك أهل التقوى وأهل المغفرة اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي نبي الرحمة كما تحب وترضى عدد ما تحب وترضى كل ما ذكره الذاكرون وكل ما غفل عن ذكره الغافلون اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا ونصرنا صرنا القوم الكافرين رب اغفر وارحم وانت خير الراحمين رب اغفر وارحم وانت خير الراحمين رب اغفر وارحم وانت خير الراحمين اللهم اغفر لجميع امة سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم ارحم امة سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم تجاوز عن امة سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم فرج الكرب عن امة سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم استر واجبر واحفظ واهدي اللهم اهدنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اهدنا واهدي بنا واهد الناس جميعا واجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى يا رب العالمين اللهم افتح اقفال قلوبنا بذكرك اللهم افتح اقفال قلوبنا بذكرك واتمم علينا بنعمتك واصبغ علينا من فضلك واجعلنا من عبادك الصالحين واجعلنا من عبادك الذاكرين واجعلنا من عبادك الشاكرين الصابرين واجعلنا من عبادك المنتخبين الغر المحجلين اللهم اجعلنا نعظم شكرك ونكثر ذكرك ونتبع نصيحتك ونحفظ وصيتك اللهم لا تؤمنا مكرك ولا تنسنا ذكرك اللهم لا تؤمنا مكرك ولا تنسنا ذكرك ولا تهتك عنا سترك ولا تجعلنا من الغافلين اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك يا أرحم الراحمين منزول بك كل حاجة اللهم إنا نسألك إيمانا كاملا ويقينا صادقا وقل خاشعا ولسانا ذاكرا ولسانا ذاكرا وتوبة نصوحا وتوبة قبل الموت وراحة عند الموت ومغفرة ورحمة بعد الموت والعفو عند الحساب والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار يا رحم الراحمين والله you are the most merciful among the merciful we beg you for your rahmah we beg you for your mercy we beg you for your kindness والله we beg Thank you for your forgiveness. Oh Allah, please have mercy upon us. Please forgive all our sins. Please forgive all our mistakes, major and minor, the ones we did in broad daylight, the ones we committed in the darkness of the night. Oh Allah, the ones we committed in private, the ones we committed in public, you know our sins better than us. Oh Allah, you have the power to forgive us. Please forgive us. Please have mercy upon us. Oh Allah, these brothers and sisters have been uh, sitting here for a long 
long time listening to some beautiful words from Quran and hadith and stories of our Akabir and Mashayikh Sulaha. Oh Allah, have mercy upon them, bless them. Oh Allah, give us all your qurb and your ma'rifah and your nafsis. Oh Allah, give us all uh, that ability to walk on this path of suluk and to bring ourselves closer to you. Oh Allah, give us all the realization of your presence and to understand and realize that you are with us wheresoever we may be and give us tawfir to do your zikr as frequently as possible, as much as possible. Oh Allah, do not let us forget, forget you. Do not let us neglect you. Allah protect us from shaitan, iblis, mul'oon and protect us from our ego and our nafs and our desires. Allah, Allah allow us to control our nafs and our ego and abide by the instructions of the sharia. Allah help us to pray five times a day properly to read some extra nawafil salah, tahajjud and ishraq, jash, tawabin and sunnats as well. Allah help us to read Quran as much as possible to do your zikr as much as possible. Allah, create an environment of salat in our homes as well. Give our ladies the tawfir to pray five times a day properly and to remember you and never to forget you. Allah, create an environment of religiousness in our homes as well. Allah, take care of the iman of our progeny, our children as well. Allah, and Allah, take care of the iman of our nestles as well. And Allah, bring deen into our homes, in our hearts. And Allah, keep Keep us steadfast on Surat Mustaqim to the day we die. O oh Allah, give us the benefit of zikr as well. O oh Allah, give us your, the, the, the nur of zikr and the ma'rifat due to zikr as well. Give us your love and the love of your beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And keep us steadfast on Surat Mustaqim to the day we die. When our last moment comes, O oh Allah, give us death with kalma la ilaha illallah on our lips. And give us death in such a way that manner that you are happy with us, we are happy with you. You, you long to meet us, we long to meet you. Make our death easy for us. Make our life after death easy for us. Make our Maidan Hashar life easy for us. And admit us all into Jannatul Firdaus along with our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba Tabi'een and our Mashaykh and Sulaha and Awliyaullah and keep us close to them on the day of Qiyamah as well and close to them in, Maid- in Maidan Hashar and in Jannat as well. Oh Allah, accept our humble duas. Be pleased with us. Give us all those good things which your beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa asked from you. Protect us from all those trials, tribulations, problems, fitnas from which your beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sought your protection. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanda samiul alim wa tubalayna inna kanda tawabur rahim wa sallillahumma wa sallim ala sayyidina muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya rahmur rahim. Jazakallah to you by oh, sitting, participating. May Allah give us benefit of zikr. May Allah be pleased with us. Yeah.